It's easy to ignore the homeless, to view them as less than human. It's easy to judge the homeless, to say that giving to them is just another handout. But the reality is that most everyone in the working population could be just one paycheck away from being homeless. Many homeless people work, but are unable to generate enough income to support a home. So you're working? Yeah, when I can. When you can? I started working for Canon. I was there for two years. Then they had a layoff. That was another temporary service. And where did you go to I was unemployed for like a year. Okay. And then I started going to school. I was going to Thomas Nelson. And I couldn't find a job in my field. What kind of work were you doing on a roof? Roofing. When I started off at a child tank, like at one of the time. Started working for them for about six months. And then in addition to limited work income, some people fall into homeless situations because of an inability to work altogether. Back when I was dealing with you, I could see pretty good with right. one eye. Right. You know what I'm saying? But uh, uh, this disease came in my family. Right. Mental and physical health are key factors in sustaining employment, but the physical and mental health of a person may be beyond their control. I've always had issues with depression and social anxiety. I've had a lot of different jobs, but I always had to have to take care of my own things and do what I want to do. I just had to take care of my own things. I got five months and I'm done. Five months and you're done, okay. Family and uh, I, I take psychological therapy classes two times a month. Because after you know my mom passed and I went through all that I went through, then this happens. So and that was a self attempt. Um, yeah, that was the nasty one I did. Oh gosh. Yeah. So you're struggling, huh? Yeah. And I was like, when, when, when that happened, I'm like sitting there, and after everything settled down, I was in the hospital. Oh, man, I went through it. I paid for it. I was like, never again. I said, next time, if I want to go this route, I'll do pills or something, <laughs> or something like that. Mental health conditions can be further aggravated by feelings of hopelessness brought on by the circumstances of homelessness. The longer someone has been homeless, the more it becomes increasingly difficult to retain employment or stable housing. This long, like I said, I've been on the list for eight years. Wow. That's all. Yeah, it's been kind of rough, huh? Yeah. yeah. It, I mean, it was different. I was so used to have my own house and stuff like that, but I got there. Is there a rooming house? No, I They fixed up the apartments good enough to, to, uh, to good enough to live livable, but it's a lot of dust or whatever, and it's going to the air ducts. I think I, I could tie the living room because it's too much trouble. It's too much it's trouble. It's a problem. It's a big problem. It's not your place. You got a right to do what you want to do to you, you know, that ain't right. Simple things like keeping up personal hygiene or access to a social network prevent some from getting out of the cycle of homelessness. Building a stable home depends on tapping into a social network. The first social network is the family. However, if there is a gap in this support system, one could easily fall into poverty. Uh, I love my father. I'm a full girl, I'm a full son. We'll see you here, thank you, Lord. So you have your own apartment? No, I'm waiting. You're waiting for an apartment. And in the meantime, where are you staying? 
I was staying with a friend of mine. Everybody else is in Richmond, up coast, all up the east coast, whatever. Carolina, you know. I don't see that. Do you still live with them? No, no, I stay in a boarding house. What's your relationship with your family? Oh, um, I have a hard time staying connected. My father and father had me, mommy, and I had him locked up. Um, I need to get out of here before he got rid of from jail. Domestic violence is the number one cause of homelessness among women. Project Homeless Connect seeks to bring these human stories to life so everyone can see the homeless not just as a tragedy. That's my life story. But as people, people who, when given the right tools, can prosper. I'm just a survivor just trying to keep going. I said, ma'am, I need the whole nine yards down the dog too. <laughs> 